Good afternoon. Working for you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, um, Les Roy and Good afternoon. Um, the Honorable Patches Leibert, my good friend. Good afternoon, my friend. Um, I want to touch a little, Honorable Minister, on the recent election took, that took place in Venezuela and the spin-off of that results of the election. As most of us who follow what's going on in the Caribbean would know that. The opposition win at least 99, and 99 um, seats and counting, because the poll was a preliminary poll. The count wasn't finished. So they form a majority of the of parliament in the Republic of Venezuela. But I said that to say this. Because when a parliament comes into being, changes are being made. And that is why that parliament won so handsomely against the, the um, ruling government of Maduro, President Maduro. And they ran an election based on what was going on on the ground in Venezuela. That um, most of the reserve, the financial reserve, and otherwise were exported. And their people were suffering and wanted to redress that situation in Venezuela. And we in the Caribbean, I think it's only, we in the Caribbean has to be cognizant of the fact. I want to say cognizant of the fact, I mean, it would have some ripple effect all of us who are um, under the petro caribbean situation agreement that we would have some adverse effect to our economies. Some adverse, some may not so adverse, but like small territories like us here in St. Kitts Nevis, who depend, I would say heavily, on that program has to make, and I want the people of St. Kitts Nevis not to be naive and to be cognizant of the fact that this new government, parliament, because Maduro is still the president, but he would meet adverse opposition to any expenditure to the present status quo. So we here in these little islands has to understand and not be naive and start to think out of the box and start to tighten our belt and oh, notch. Because, what you say? I said thank you very much for your call. Is there anything else you want to say? Yeah, I, I wasn't finished. Okay. Uh, okay, another 30 seconds. Because what I want to say here, because fuel to sink it from the Venezuelan government is of utter importance. We depend heavily on it. And seeing that we don't have to pay for it after that, it, you know, and the total amount, it gives us um, some <coughs> measure of space to help our economy grow. But taking away, that, taking away that from us in a new dispensation would be adverse. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much, Carlo. I don't think it was a question more. No, it was comment. a commentary. Uh, but uh, there are two things, and one has to really <laughs> uh, consider the changes, as you said, uh, as you said quite rightly, that the, the Venezuelan, Venezuelan's opposition party have won to date, that I understand, over 50% of the seats in the National Assembly. And remember uh, that that is the first major shift in power uh, in Venezuela uh, since Hugo Chavez's days in, in 1999. Uh, what would happen? What could happen? I mean, uh, would they continue this uh, energy cooperation agreement uh, with the islands? Uh, in, in the case of St. Kitts, would they demand that we pay the $45 million. Uh, but of course, they still want to 
trading oil. So uh, mm -hmm. the trade will continue. So that these are options, uh, these are possibilities rather. Uh, but I, I, I do believe, uh, I am confident that that the the Venezuelan opposition in in uh, uh, in responding to their victory, uh, he said this, and I always told you all this was about the way, about humility, maturity, and serenity. So if we are talking in in in, in, in that those, those, that tongue, uh, I, I believe. Uh, we can be optimistic, and as I said before, I believe we have leadership that can can uh, cooperate, uh, can discuss. Uh, my leader speaks a little Spanish, did you know? <laughs> right. Uh, but on a serious note, I think we have a leadership that can have bilateral uh, discussions with the new new dispensation or leaders of new dis dispensation. Remember that uh, Maduro is still the president. Although yes. he has he has vowed to continue his socialist policies, mm -hmm. how will that sit with the, the National Assembly is another question. But wh whatever happens, I do believe that we have leadership that can can come together in this spirit of unity because that's what happened in, in yes. Venezuela. Uh, parties got together. Yes, it, it's but, but, but this it's, time uh, around, yeah, though, yeah, it was yeah, a yeah. serious blow. Yes, um, to Maduro because he he only won seventy eight seats, and the. The, the a final count? Yeah, okay. they have a, a hundred and sixty-seven yes. seat legislature. Okay, and of that, um, ninety-nine was won by the opposition. But they were a, a coalition and, of parties. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. So, right. Yes. So, you know, he he won seventy-eight. Yes. Yeah, so the, the coalition this, won 99. Yeah, so you're coming from the same base, unity in right. the same case. And, but that has not yeah. happened. Yeah, um, yes. but that has not happened um, in 17 uh, years. 17 years. So that's the correct. first time in 17, 17 years. So years, yes. he's certainly losing grip. Yes, yes.